Okay. Tiger is good startup, yes. Okay? Alright, he's ready. Alright. Just this morning, many of you were quite amazed when I told you a story of how I turned a small scale halter chain to having revenues quite the size of a medium scale company with just pretty much giving free stuff. Today I have a new and amazing idea. And my name is Simon Seliza, and I'm a freelance marketer, helping small and medium scale businesses market their businesses to make enough revenue not only to profit, but to survive. Let's take today if you wanted a cab, all you have to do is click. Today I can book a hotel in Bahamas, all I have to do is click, click, click. I can make a million dollar payment, all I have to do is just swipe, swipe and click. But how about booking a hostel? Millions of students across Africa find it extremely difficult to find a decent and affordable hostel. I can guess your first experience is when you get admission, you move around, get the dust, get annoying faces, get a hostel, pay so much money, and then you don't like it. This is a problem every student in Africa faces while at university. Through creating an online platform with hundreds of hostel options, will not only be saving you time and money, but will also be making your education lifestyle easier for you to get your A's and first classes. Like I said, my name is Simon Sedeza, and the business industry is not new to me. I started my first business as a 13-year-old when I first sold 300 copies of a school magazine while at a school event. Seven years later, when I was 20 years old, I made my first $1,000 selling the same idea with just a medium hostel page, just like on Facebook. How many of you have hostel pages? Rather, Facebook pages. Most of you have. So I made my first $1,000 selling this exact same idea, the hostel guide, as a Facebook page. Currently, I make my living marketing hostel, hotels and small-scale businesses, mainly in the hospitality industry, online. So I know this industry quite well because I've been in the online game for quite some time now. What makes the hostel guide quite unique is that first of all, our primary niche is university going students. Most of you have seen sites like Airbnb, Booking.com, but all these guys are tra targeting at travelers, people with money, and none of them is actually looking out for you. So this hostel guide is going to be primarily centered on you. Second, no student will be charged. Yes, in the morning I was telling you how I was doing free camping, free Wi-Fi, free tea, free accommodation, with just pay, just buying a meal. Today I'm telling you, today all you have to do is swipe, 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 click, and you won't have to pay any one more broker one more time to show you one ugly looking accommodation facility. Third, we're going to give you hundreds of options to choose from. The reason most of you staff are looking for hostels is because probably all of you know maybe one, two, or three hostels. This time we are going to give you hundreds of options to choose. So that if you're even, for one reason, let's say you're delaying on your payment and they have to kick you out, you're not so worried about finding a decent and affordable accommodation. Hopefully you could even find something cheaper than what we are paying. And the most important reason of all, I am sure most of you have had to put up with those annoying hostel wardens who give you an ugly looking face, go to the toilet and it's very looking dirty, but you can't do anything about it because that's the only place you want. So creating a hundred options and plus as hostel options, we are creating one, competition. So no one is going to just raise the price because the demand and supply market will control them while working on our side. But the second and most important reason, we will be controlling quality. Currently, right now, the hostel owners control what they call quality. But today, you will be able to control quality because we will have a review page where if someone thing annoys you about the place you're staying, you'll be able to post it to everyone to see. Some of you do it on TripAdvisor, some of you do it on Facebook. And every single year, we'll be ranking hostels based on your reviews on what really is the best, on host best hostel in the facility, let's say around Chambogo or around Mo or even around Kampala. Because those rankings are what determines the brand. Through doing that, hostel owners will start becoming humble and listening to your attention. I believe all of you want.
want that? Don't you want a hostel where someone listens to you when you say, this is dirty and they clean it immediately? Yeah. That is what we all want. I work in the hospitality industry and that's what runs us. Quality, because of customer orientation. So you're asking me, like, Simon, so if you're giving free stuff, who are you making the money? Thank you very much, thank you very much. Ah, Simon, you're still here. <laughs> no, I'm not saying to talk to us about the idea that we listen to the questions from the judges. Yes, judges should be asking them sort of a few questions and one of them should be the last thing we talk about. Yes, I've logged in. I just want you to help me. Just walk me through that. Okay. So, our hostel guide is currently being built. But it's going to start, if you can have a look at this, with right when you get your admission form or when you go to a website. You're going to have a page, probably that looks something like this, with pictures, name, and reviews, and prices. So all you have to do is read the reviews, see the prices, compare with everyone else, and then book. Once you click the booking question, it's either you get at something that will connect you to us, to enable you make payment, and then we pay the landlord, or alternatively, you pay the landlord, and the landlord notifies us and pays us our commission. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, Simon, for the uh, presentation. Uh, my question, well, I think you were about to explain and uh, you are timed out. How are you going to make the money? Exactly. Currently, if you could just go to the next page, next after that. Next after that, yes. If you look at our database, we are going to invest 30 million Ugandan shillings into creating this site. Now, 15% of an average hostel, which is about 900,000 in 600,000, is about 90,000. And within the next 12 months, we expect to make 100 million. How is that? Because Chambogo University has a student population of 23,000 students. If you do the math, to make 100 million, all I have to do is sell 100, rather 740 bits. For a university of 23,000 students, how hard can that be? Thank you. Uh, thank you, Samuel. And uh, let me first continue. With you. But it looks like you're very sure you're going to make the money. Yes, because I have done that before. I was studying in Mauritius, and I did this for. If you could put the next page, please. I was doing this for three major universities: Middlesex University in Mauritius. University of Wolverhampton and Amity University. Just like you see Victoria University, most of them had buildings in town but had no hostels. So when I contact them, contacted them and shared my concept, even at the concept stage, they already gave me their students and that's how I was able to make a total of at least 3,000 US dollars before I could even launch my page. Thank you. Here is what could happen. Um, Jumia will see your idea. They want to buy it. You'll say no. And then they'll create their own. They're existing. They have the credibility. What's your sustainability? That's exactly what I was. Why we are investing up to 30 million shillings within this within this facility. Realize if we keep running this as a hostel page, soon Jumia will see the idea, take it up, and invest as more money as possible. This is why, if you can go to my next page, yes, the partners page, please. Up. One of my partners is none other than Daniel Miko. Daniel Miko is an e-commerce and digital marketing consultant. Two years ago, he was ranked as the highest rating return on investment ad strategist in the whole of Africa, making up to $80,000. He's willing to invest in my idea, and that way we will be able to compete with companies just as Jumia. Thank you. Thank you, Simon. Thank you, Simon. Okay, brief one for you. You, you are you are in the number 